Alright guys, so let's go ahead and discuss which cards or which banners are going to be coming to the global side of Dokkan Battle or which should be coming to the global side of Dokkan Battle. So as you see over here, I have the JP Gotchas page up. Um, we literally on the global side just had the Korra banner and he's still up. I believe he's going to be running until like for another week or two, week and a half maybe, week, who knows. Uh, it's probably going to be another week and then we're going to be getting a new banner now i personally think we are going to be getting the super saiyan 3 angel goku banner why is that well because we have the technique banner the technique support banner and i think they're kind of doing things if you see over here they did the core banner and then they did the physical banner on the jp side it looks like on the global side they are prepping us with the uh, support units first and then they're giving us the 120 lead so if we're going to go in that tradition in that route we should be getting the tech angel goku now, this banner is actually pretty sick. I'm not going to be going in-depth on everything because I want this video to be pretty short. I think the last time I did this, it turned into like a 25-minute video, uh, and that was a while ago. Um, so, as of right now, this banner is pretty sick. You get the, the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I believe that's this card right here. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, that's that card right there. So, he is super useful. He is the Technique Super 120 lead. Uh, he runs a very good team, and it comes with this Gotenks. This Gotenks is on the banner. This is the Technique Gotenks that's on the banner. Super good. I, if you guys know, if you've been watching me, um, he is at 100% in the dupe system. I think I just mentioned it. I don't think I ever ran him on a team for you to see, but he is 100% um, uh, in the dupe system. He hits ridiculous. A double uh, Gotenks lead right now. He's hitting for 1.2 million on a 12 key multiplier, or 1.1 million on a 12 key multiplier. It's insane. So when he's on a 120 team, he's going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, and then you get the Intelligence Trunks, the Intelligence Vegeta, the God Vegeta, so the two Ragers. Um, the Mass Saiyan Bardock, the other Bardock, which is really useful, and since he's the only one on the banner, he actually might be used, this banner might be useful to pawn, just because uh, this banner is going to, uh, well, when you get him, you could Z-Awaken him to an SSR 50% chance into the other Bardocks. Uh, and then you have the tanker, old school strength Vegeta, who like reduces enemies' uh, the damage from the enemy for um, a certain period of time. I think his Dokken Awakening is like really ridiculous. What is it? Uh, Eighty percent reduced damage for like six turns from the start of the turn, or something like that. So he's really good for defender, for damage reducer. Anyway, this banner is really useful if you don't have these cards. Like me personally, the only two on this banner I have is the Kaioken Blue Goku and the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And I could use every single one of these cards. I know I well that on the core because I really want the core. I might throw a little bit into this banner. Who knows? We'll see what happens. They're probably not going to change it. Uh, that's that banner. Then we got some filler agility banner. I don't think we're going to get that. Uh, then, we're gonna, then we should get the Android 17. I think that's already been translated in the the doke on dbz.space which has showed us it's been translated already so i'm pretty sure we're going to get this it's going to have that super saiyan 4 vegeta it has the two new 17s uh this super 17 isn't available again for a very long time so it might be if you, if we're going to stick the same route as the jp the jp version we might want to go for that uh so just keep that in mind you might want to go for that banner who knows I, i'm not telling you to do it he's not the best he doesn't have the most amazing team in the game but he does still run a good team uh, but overall, he has some good units. You have Super Vegito, if you don't have him already, and Rosé. Uh, and then you have the two Android 17s that are new. But these guys are not Dokkan exclusive, so they will show up in other summons. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And then you have these two, obviously. Super 17 is pretty sick. It has the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku as well. And then you have the new SR 17s. Um, the one, I believe one of them Dokkan Awakens and one of them doesn't, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't want to go too in-depth with it, though. Uh, so th that's going to be really useful because they will feed into the other 17s if you don't want to Dokken Awaken. Um, overall, pretty good banner. Uh, I'm not going to recommend pulling on that one. I'm going to recommend the Angel, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. But I'll talk more about it when the event comes out with a full in-depth analysis of the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku card and the Super 17 as well. Um, then we had the follow-up was the Kid Boo, which is the Intelligence Extreme Team. Now, personally, I don't like it um, in, in terms of the card itself. Let me bring up the actual page real quick. Uh, so we have what? It's uh, you have the, the Intelligence Golden Frieza, I believe that's or is that the Technique, the Technique Golden Frieza, the Intelligence Kid Boo, Boo Han, the Spirit Bomb Goku, the Kid Boo Janemba. Uh, that's the Intelligence Janemba, by the way. Uh, the Intelligence Vegeta. So essentially, all of these except for like Golden Frieza and Janemba are from the Boo Saga. <laughs> I guess actually technically the Janemba is because Janemba was supposed to be the equivalent to Boo and I believe the movie came out during the um, Boo during the Boo Saga or right after the Boo Saga. So he was supposed to be like the equivalent to Boo. 
Uh, so I guess that's cool, but plus he's just an intelligence unit, and he's going to run really good on an intelligence team. If you guys like him. If you like Kid Buu, you can go for it. There's some really solid units here, and when this Goku and this Vegeta both Doken Awaken, uh, their passives are actually really useful. I think it's attack plus 20% per key orb obtained. It's just they do supreme damage, so you don't get a really good modifier on that like you do with the LR Gohan. Uh, but they're still really good, especially if you have if you if you're going with a nuking tactic, they're going to be hitting ridiculously hard. Um, but overall, I'm not going to recommend going on this banner, but that should be after the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, uh, or sorry, the Super 17 banner. Uh, so those are the next three. Uh, then we have after that supposed to be the Super Gogeta and the Janemba if they come out. They're supposed to come out to that together. So that's supposed to be towards the end. So that, let's see. So that would be what it's September. So the end of September. We should, so in the middle of this month, the middle of September, we should get Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. The end of September, beginning of October, should be the Super 17. Uh, then we should have, what, October, the end of the mid, mid October, probably uh, Kid Buu. And then November, we should have the Dual Dokkan Fest, supposedly. It's just estimates, by the way, guys. Mid November should be these guys. Both of these banners are actually really useful. I'm saving for these two. Why? Because of all the cards that are going to be there. First off, I really do want the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I'm just not going ham. I went ham like from like July till now, so I can't. I really can't do it. <laughs> um, so let's see. We have the Intelligence Vegeta, uh, the Rage Vegeta, Super Gogeta, the new one, Su uh, Vegito Blue, which I need some dupes of him, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I'm not really a big fan of that Beerus, but I still need some dupes of him to unlock all of his dupe paths. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I got uh, maxed out, but I wouldn't mind some dupes, because you know in the future they're going to come out with another Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And then you also have, I believe this is the physical, no, this is the Intelligence Rage Trunk. So, again, really good units. I actually need all of these, and that's why I'm saving for them. So, um, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be saving for that, and I really hope I pull what I want from this banner. Um, but really useful units. And then the same thing with the Janemba banner. The only thing that, he, that this one doesn't have is... So this one, uh, the, the Gogeta banner doesn't have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I think it's the only 120 Super Elite at that at this time that he won't have. And for the uh, Janemba, he doesn't have the Super 17. That's why I said you might want to pull for it if you like the card and you like the team. Um, but he does have Korra. He has Omega Shenron. He has uh, Merge Zamasu if you're lacking him. Perfect Cell. Mass Saiyan, the new, obviously the new Janemba, and Goku Black. And then you have the other Agility SR Janemba, which Doken Awakens. He's really, he's a decent card. He's cool to run on a mono extreme agility team. But overall, that's what that's what's running on both of these banners. Uh, personally, I like both of them. I'm probably, if it comes around with the same exact cards, I'm only going to pull on Gogeta. I might, if there's discount summons, I'll probably do that. Um, but that should be coming, I believe I said mid-November. Uh, and then what we have July, I mean, not mid-November, end of November, beginning of December. And that's when the super physical Gotenk should come out. So uh, end of November, beginning of December should be the, the, the Gotenks, which is going to be pretty badass. He's a really good unit. Um, actually, solid unit. I prefer the physical Korra myself, so I probably won't be pulling on him. I know this team is very good. They hit very hard when you have the optimal team, especially when you get that LR Trunks, because there's a lot of Trunks and Gotenks up on this team. I mean, look at this banner. First off, first off, this banner is full Fusions banner. You have all, almost all the Fusions. You have the two cards that Doken Awaken into Gotenks. The Agility Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, I believe that's this one. Um, and then you have the Physical Gotenks, the Super Vegito, the Base Form Gotenks, and both of them get Doken Awakens. I believe the Strength 1 Dokens into a Super Saiyan, and the other Base Form just Doken Awakens into another Base Form. Um, and then you have the, the Strength Super Saiyan Gotenks, and then you also have the Physical Gotenks, which is really usefully Seal Super Attack. So this is really good. This is a nice banner overall if you guys like fusions. Plus, remember, these fusions will also run good on that fusions team. So when that category lead comes in uh, for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, if you were lucky enough to pull him, this entire banner, um, except for maybe the Super Vegito, is fusion dance. So keep that in mind. All of these cards will run very well on that banner if you're trying to prep for that. Um... So let's go on to the next one. I'm only going to go on up until the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, because that would be December for us, and I don't want to go past there. Plus, I'm already at the 9-minute mark, so I don't want to go too far into this. Uh, then we have the Heroes banner, but we don't have that on the global side as of yet. Here's hoping, but we, we're probably not going to get that. That's when the Broly event came out with the new cards. Um, I think you should... I mean, it's discounted to, thir to 30. I think you get guaranteed SSR. I'm not sure, though. I don't think it's guaranteed SSR. But you get three discount summons when you go. You might want to pull on it if you, you, know, if you like the discount summons. Uh, and these, I believe this didn't have horrible units on it, but they weren't amazing. It's nothing I like write home about. You do get the new, uh, two new uh, Super Saiyan, Goten, and Trunks. So if you've been saving up those SRs to feed into them, that's something you can keep in mind. It's the agility, the intelligence and agility ones. Uh, you have the, all the, you have three 18s, and then you have, what, Goten, Trunks, Goten, Trunks, and then the two SR 18s. So I believe actually though those two feed into these three. 
Um, but overall, <clears throat> this is not an amazing banner. I wouldn't recommend pulling on this banner. Uh, that's why they give you discounts to kind of you know incite you to go and pull on it. Uh, then we have the Rising Banner Dragon, the Rising Banner Summon Banner. <laughs> Um, the Rising Dragons, the Summon Banner. Anyway, blah. There's a, that's its two times SSR rate. <clears throat> if we get that, uh, I don't know. That's probably going to have all the LRs in it if you do. Last but not least, and we're going to end here, is the Super Saiyan 3 Broly uh, Banner. If we get him in this order, this will be the last one. This will probably be towards the middle of December. But also, they might not bring this in the middle of December in terms of celebration for the holidays. So keep that in mind. Remember last year, they did a lot of for us during the holidays. <clears throat> I think it was only like seven days, but they might skip this banner for that. I don't know. It's just a guess, so don't hold me to that. Um, if they do, they'd probably push this till January, and then at that point, we'll be hitting the two-year anniversary, I mean, the two-and-a-half-year anniversary, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Um, anyway, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Mass Bardock, and uh, Technique Korra, Technique... I believe this is the Technique uh, Frieza, yeah. So the Technique Frieza... Uh, the Kid Boo, I believe this is the tech one also. I think this is a full technique banner. Um, yeah, this is a full extreme technique. So essentially, this is almost the entire team you're going to want to run. Almost. <laughs> uh, the Kid Boo, and then you have Merge the Masu, Cell. And Cell, okay, I know, I'm, he, out of all of the old leaders, uh, I don't think he is the best unit by any means. I think that I still think the Full Power Frieza and the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku are better choices. Unless you're going to run the extreme team. At that point, if you have the extreme tech lead, this cell does come in handy. Um, just because when you when you get him in the dupe system, he actually starts hitting really hard. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. Um, overall, I, I probably wouldn't recommend pulling that on unless you actually want to run a Super Saiyan 3 Broly. If you like Broly, go for it. Um, I, I don't think that this 120 Broly is worth it in my opinion. Um, if I end up getting him in the future, I'll definitely run him. Don't get me wrong. If I find a Broly friend, I'll run him. But even on the JP side, as you guys probably already know, no one ever runs him as a leader. You actually have to go actively searching for Super Saiyan 3 Broly friends. So you actually have to go up on social media groups and stuff like that or wherever you need to go in order to find a Super Saiyan 3 Broly friend. Um, that's why I don't really recommend it. These cards are cool. They'll probably be good on a villain's team if you're lacking villain. Like Super Saiyan 3 Broly will be good on a villain's team because you run him alongside LR Broly. Um, they will, I think they hit off a couple of good things, because I'll probably have to do that in the future when the spanner comes out for a team building guide. But anyway, that's it. Um, we'll wait when more events come out. I will definitely be doing reviews on all of them on the individual manners and cards itself, as you guys know. So make sure you subscribe if you're new. Um, I will be doing, um, I believe tomorrow I'm going to be going over the Dokken Awakens for the Great Apes. And then when the actual cards come out for, um... Crap, what was it that was coming out? The uh, It was not the Ginyu, it was something else that's coming out tomorrow. I forgot what it was, or on the 8th. Uh, but anyway, I did the video yesterday. I completely slipped my mind. I'm, I'm in a rush. I'm actually going to head out the door. But um, stay tuned. I'll, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry if I haven't been responding to a lot of the comments. It's been really, really busy um, this past couple of weeks. You know, it's the end of the year. Uh, work is really crazy. Um, you know, I do travel an hour back and forth to work. So it's really hard for me to, you know, create content. Start. I started a new exercise routine and and go to work and do everything i need to do but you know i am here for you guys i am reading your comments i do see your comments so you know please remember you know i'm always reading them if i don't respond to you i'll at least give you a like just to acknowledge the fact that i read your comment but thank you remember to subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys later